What are you doing back again? <laughs> okay, so these are repelling and they're approximately, uh, well that's saying eight, but if we go to where the measure is, it's just on nine. So you can see that there, from top to bottom, it's nine centimetres, or 90 millimetres. There. So I'll just rest that on top and we'll just call it eight just for the for the sake of being being the flat. But what we've found is that we we can actually get it to go to attraction. And that's quite unusual. So the the, the measurement of this is uh, from from there up to here is um, 50, 54, 54 centimetres, so overall from the base is approximately 60, a bit over. Okay, but from where this magnet's leaving off that washer would be yeah, just on 60 centimetres. So this is how brilliant this is. Just look at this. So it does come apart, but and the most amazing part is it goes together. <laughs> so it goes together, and the, with a small amount of vibration on it, fires it apart. Alrighty. Now, why would you want to be able to use this? What would be the benefit? And what we found is that we've got similar devices or smaller devices, just a simple tube um, with a funnel. Uh, this has been blown for us by a local uh, glass blower and I'm using some of these that just pop in there so you can see it um, and that in turn water is flowing in through here and down and out through the nozzle. A few parts of that silver, silver one, the small one, yep, that's it. Just the one. This this particular one has the nozzle, and this is fitted to a tap. And this is what this is basically doing: it's spinning the water past the magnets, and what is it? It's causing a form of poly water or polymer water, water that becomes separated. It's no longer remaining in a constant flow. Each particle or droplet of water is a separate individual. It's wetter, it's nicer to taste, it's got rid of a lot of the colloidal minerals that are normally uh, uh, stacked inside uh, what we call water. Where did they go? Yeah, that's a good question. Where did they go? Um, once they fit within the spiral that I showed you before with Dr. Walter Russell's stuff, it spins and becomes a new charge and those elements become available at a later stage as energy or crystalline structures within your body. That's what's giving you energy and the electrical frequencies throughout your body. Okay, so that's where those things go. You don't see them, uh, they become opaque or clear and it tastes beautiful. Uh, are they all negative ions? Some are negative, some are even positive. Uh, the number of them, uh, some, as we showed you before, go from zero, one, two, three, four positive, uh, sit at a point of balance, and then go down four, three, two, one, zero, negative. And that's probably the most amazing. They form a nine spiral, and all of the elements that we've been able to find, Dr. Walter Russell Sharnas, subatomic particles, particles well before hydrogen, um, which according to Mendelos periodic tables begin at hydrogen. So he showed there being about 26 elements well and truly alive and well back in 1921. Uh, that was subatomic particles. And he also showed the atomic range of elements, some of which he even said were unknown. So any wonder we're still finding them. Um, so within this unit, I'll just show you quickly, uh, 
the magnet that we were playing with before and there they are there so this particular one's got three um, what we'd normally put in in this unit are four uh, just that I wanted to experiment a little bit and there they are there and they just pop back inside when they're being nice to me I've just got to get rid of that one put the small one on so they actually have four inside I've just got a couple there they're a little bit big but, um, you can just see the different sizes so crack the code with them fit nicely in there and then they get done up. And this particular the tap fitting fits directly onto that and your hose fitting next straight straight onto that. So these units we're actually uh, retailing out at the moment um, probably in the vicinity of about $150. So these treat your water magnetically. The other units we have are nearly two thousand dollars. I'd like you to just pass me one of those. Too, so. What we've done is, now the, the, the bigger unit. What we've done is that we've fitting. sorry. Fitting. Yeah, these are different types of fittings, so you can put it directly on the end of the hose, and then just spray the water out from that end. Okay, so here we have an absolutely amazing device. So please, if you've got any problems with your heart, do not buy one of those. Um, if you've got pacemakers and things like this. These are four neodymiums, there's nine of them within it, and they will knock you over or restart your heart. I can't believe. <laughs> um, we've made it so that they're adjustable. When they come back in and get service, uh, we just pull them apart and re-energise the cell by r removing all of the minerals that have been attracted to the particles or back to the, the centre of the unit. So um, this is this is what it looks like. Just so this magnet there on that long tube. Yep. So this these in actual fact get put into the centre of these. So um, that that's that's how they look when you when you're buying them and they're they're, they're quite quite unique. Uh, the only the only problem is like with most magnets uh, that particular unit um, we're retailing out just on two and a half thousand uh, dollars in Australia and these get rid of most of the materials uh, that that are high calcium high um, contaminants that are you know uh, flocculous particle so these all come apart um, and sit within themselves quite nicely. You can see they're in repulsion, all of them. Uh, some are in different fields. Um, we won't tell you what the field structures are because uh, we want to supply those to you. And these get sealed in the unit. You don't actually get to play with this part of it, but only because of the strength and the alignment are just so important. So that's, um, we believe we can even disassociate uh, up to uh, heavy metals and uh, possibly even radioactive particles. I went to Japan and um, met up with the wonderful man, Dr. Emoto, uh, whilst I was in Japan. And uh, when I left, I gave him one of these units to hopefully continue to do further experimentation in helping to clean up the waters in Japan. Um, so this, when you look at our site, uh, which is weathercreation.com. Uh, these are the fun things that you'll get to see that we're working with. Uh, weather creation is rather unusual in that we believe we are the cause of rain as well. So have a look at the site. We're playing with magnets in such an unusual way that we're also uh, doing a lot of research. And some of what we're trying to do is bring Dr. Walter Russell's technology back into the light and uh, show you guys. Uh, you're a lot smarter than me. I'm only 
playing. But we'd like to be doing some serious stuff. The weather creation is certainly serious. The water filters are certainly serious. As are the water conditioners uh, for your garden and things like that. So absolutely fantastic. So thank you very much. And the world issue? Oh, right, yeah, issue? look, I just had, had, had to put in that we're, uh, we're helping clean up the waters in uh, Bangladesh. In fact, believe that it doesn't really matter where you are in the world, you're affected by magnetism. So if you happen to be inside planet Earth, here, here's planet Earth coming out of its uh, magnetic field uh, in, its outer, in its outer shells, in its ionosphere and stratosphere. The structure of the magnetics are that the Earth can, I believe, spin onto different poles. And these are the poles that I'm referring to. So they can change their angle and probably have done in the last 10,000 years or 10,000 years ago. Uh, places like Antarctica were most likely uh, other areas of tropical vegetation or whatever. So they were, they were just tilted onto different poles. So if you like, if we just did a lucky dip as to which way it went, uh, it could have ended up anyway. So these are the structures that it's likely to move on. So this is just a dodecahedron, a simple, or if you like, a simple soccer ball. So that's what it looks like inside. And some of the paintings from the elders or the old uh, masters showed uh, even the Last Supper having this type of device around it and the back of it. So, rather unique. So, thank you. Really appreciate it. And let's uh, show you the website, weathercreation.com. And you come on back now, you hear? <laughs>